Welcome back on my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I highlight and contour my face. I'm gonna do both cream contour and powder contour. I want to say cream highlight. Cream contour and cream... Oh my god. Cream contour and powder contour. So if you want to see how I created this look, then please keep on watching. Make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell. And of course, a thumbs up this video if you liked it. So as you can see, I already did my eyes, my eyebrows, and I moisturized. So I was debating whether I should do a contouring only or if I should start with the base. And I decided to start with the base because if you don't have a good base, you don't have a good contour. Um, so make sure, first of all, your skin is moisturized. Even if you have oily skin, if you have an oily skin, you can use a gel type moisturizer. If you have a drier skin, you can use a thicker cream. So it's up to you what you use, but you should definitely moisturize your skin. So then the next step is priming. I'm always a little bit extra and I have some bigger pores around my nose area up until here. So for that I'm using the Benefit Pore Fashional. This primer really really fills up your pores and it makes them really smooth. So I just take a little bit on my finger and I just apply that on my nose and the sides. I really make sure to take a minute to really really blend this in. Also the sides of the nose. And make sure you apply a little bit of pressure because you really want to press this into your skin. And then I use a primer for the rest of my face. I use different kind of primers, but today I'm just showing two from Benefit. So this is the Professional Matte Rescue. Sometimes I use a matte primer, sometimes I use a glowy. It just depends on the day and the foundation that I'm using. So I just take that onto my hands and I slather that on. And I'm also taking that over that first primer because this is a different primer. The last one was to fill in the pores and this one is to make your skin matte. Make sure that the primer I applied before this is dry already. But now I can really feel that the skin around my nose is super smooth. Okay, I'm just gonna give that about 20 seconds while I mix my foundations so that it becomes a little bit sticky. So you can use any foundation you like. I really like Stay Lauder Double Wear and Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. So this one is super matte and this one is glowy. So I mix them together for the perfect finish for me. To blend in my foundation, I'm always using a beauty blender. You can definitely use another tool, but I just really like the finish and the feel of the beauty blender. Make sure your beauty blender is damp. A lot of people use it dry, but that's not the way you have to use it. You have to dampen it up. You can use warm water to mimic the warmth of your hands. And just load it up on the butt end of your beauty blender. And, ginger, and then I just stipple it all over my face and then start blending it in. And make sure to dab it in and not swipe because you will swipe away the foundation. You really have to dab it in and then you have the most coverage with the beauty blender. Also make sure to blend it down your neck and ears if you have your hair behind your ears. Applying a lot of products today so make sure you build up a really nice and small thin layers. So I just applied a little bit of foundation. Maybe it's a little bit less than I would normally do. But it's just fine with this because I'm applying a lot of products and you don't want to look cakey or anything. So I just always take a minute extra to blend everything in really nicely and really press it into the skin. For today's cream contour I'm going to use the Tarte Tardis Pro Glow Palette and in here is a cream and a powder contour and I'm going to use the cream today and that one is called Shade. So if you've been following me on Instagram you've seen me use various brushes to cream contour. So I have this one, this is the Real Techniques Pointed Foundation Brush, you can use this one. I also have the angled cream contour from Sigma okay don't look at the hairs it was stuck <laughs> and I just have this um, round brush just make sure you use a synthetic brush and today I'm just gonna use this rounded one because I think most people have a brush like this 
Make sure you have a nice amount on your brush, not too much, not too little. And I just rub it on the back of my hand so that I don't have too much and, and I can pick up whenever I need a little bit more. A lot of people think contour has to be really dark and it doesn't have to be really dark. Though this shade looks pretty dark inside the pan, but once I apply it, it blends out to the perfect shade for me. But please start out with a light shade. Just contour with a few shades darker um, foundation or concealer, that's totally fine. But don't take something that is too warm or too dark. If you don't know where to contour, I already did a little piece right there, but you can take it from the top of your ear to the corner of your mouth. And that is where you should contour. So from here, and I just like to curve it a little bit, like that, but you can make it straight. I just like to curve it a little bit. And I always like to start at this point because this is where you dispose the most product. So start there and sweep it out so you don't have too much product around here. Then I just take whatever is left on the back of my hand and I just wipe that up a little bit here on the end. Okay, so then for the forehead, I feel like my face shape is pretty round so I need to contour the sides of my face so the center elongates so I'm not gonna contour the center of my forehead but I'm only gonna contour right here and again with the jawline I really want to slim this down and I want to elongate my chin I'm gonna take this down and then with the same line as this I'm gonna take it like that. Down. And with the same line of the contour, I'm taking it that way. So you can see this part is a little bit blank, so I just swipe that down. And this is how I apply the contour for my face shape. Of course, if you have a longer face, you should not do this because your face will look even longer. Um, so you really, really have to look at your face shape and what you want to hide and what you want to accentuate. So for me, again, I have a round face, so I want to elongate it. Make sure to Google it. Make sure to look at different people, how they contour. And... Um, it's just playing around with contour and finding out what works for you. But for now, I'm just going to blend it out and I'm going to use my beauty blender again. And I still have some product left on it from the foundation I used. That is totally fine. It will only make it look even more natural. Again, make sure to dab and not to swipe. And also make sure to blend it up and not down. So as you can see, that blended out seamlessly and it looks super pretty. By the way, make sure you blend out your contour um, like early because if you're gonna leave it on, it's just gonna dry down and make it harder to blend it out. So don't do the Instagram type contour where you apply the contour, apply the highlight and then gonna blend everything out. Just do the contour first, blend it out, then do the highlight, blend it out. It's way easier. And now I'm gonna do the highlight part. So I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape and this one is in the shade Fair. I left my nose alone, I'm gonna do that last. But I'm gonna apply this concealer to everywhere I wanna elongate or everywhere I wanna highlight and really bring forward. So that's on my chin because I wanna elongate my face. Also on my top lip, beneath the eyes, in a triangle and the center of the forehead. For my highlight, I'm taking a clean beauty blender because it's way easier to do it like this. Otherwise, you're gonna mix all these shades in the other beauty blender. It's way easier to use one beauty blender for the dark shades and one for the light shade. Okay, so now it's super easy to go back with the contour sponge. and take it along the cheekbone again so that the two shades really melt together. So now I'm going to contour the nose and for that I'm going to use the Britney Bear Morphe Collab. So this is a brush set to contour your nose. And then they also send along some concealers. So today I'm going to use some concealers to contour my nose. But you can definitely use a cream contour for your nose. Just make sure it's a cooler shade. So um, if you use a warmer shade for your face, you don't use that on your nose because you will look ridiculous so make sure you use a cooler toned shade i use mocha and frappe and i'm just gonna mix them on the back of my hand and i'm also gonna use a little bit of this one so this is the shade i'm working with 
I'm just taking it on this M3 brush from the collab. So if your nose is pretty long, you can contour it like there. But I feel like my nose is a little bit short, so I'm gonna contour it way below that. I always like to contour the nostrils a little bit. I know it looks weird, but I just feel like it works with my nose. The same goes for noses, by the way. You just have to look at different people, how they contour their nose and how you like it and what your nose shape is. Um, otherwise, it's just gonna look weird if you're gonna do exactly the same as I do, but if you have a totally different nose. And my nose already has this shape as you can see but if you want to make this shape you just draw a straight line right there so I'm just gonna do it for the tutorial purpose just draw it right there not way up but you can do it way down but to blend that out I'm gonna use the beauty blender the contour beauty blender again and I'm using the tip Make sure to squeeze it a little bit so it becomes a little bit smaller and then blend it out so now I'm going to lighten everything up on my nose and I'm using this angled cream contour brush. Um, you can use different kinds of brushes. I'm just taking a little bit of my Tarte Shape Tape again and then I'm going to draw a straight line down. And then you can also hug the sides of the contour you just did. Then I'm taking my small beauty blender again and blending everything out. I'm starting with the sides and I'm blending everything down. And then the center part and again I squeeze my beauty blender and make sure to really focus it on that center so don't take it anywhere else. So what you want to do next is apply some powder and I'm using the RCMA. This is the translucent powder. You can also use the no color powder. Take a little bit of that on the palm of my hand. And I'm applying that to the under eyes. Make sure you don't have any creases. Then I'm also taking this powder to the side of the contour of my nose. And the sides of my nose always crease a lot. So I'm going to apply it there. If you want to go all out, apply it to everywhere you apply the highlighting concealer. Then right away I'm taking a brush and sweeping everything away. My Morphe 9C palette. I'm taking a pretty dense brush and I'm taking the yellow and the more beige shade on my brush. I'm going to set everything else on my face except for the contour. Going back to my 9C, I'm taking this in this shade. I like to take a more fluffy brush because it just really diffuses the contour on your face. And I'm going over the sides of my nose, so I'm not going to do all the tip and the, and the nostrils. I'm only going to go over the sides of the nose. And then I make sure to blend it into my brows a little bit. We'll give it a more natural look. Taking the M0 brush and the lightest shade, I'm going to soften that and blend it out. I'm first applying it to the sides and then sweeping it up. Taking my Benefit California blush and I'm applying that over where I contour a little bit higher. So now it's time for my favorite part which is highlighter. But I'm first going to apply a little bit of my Fix Plus all over my face so that my highlighter will stick perfectly. And for highlighter, of course, I'm using my own brand, Meraki Cosmetics. And today I'm using two shades. I'm using Nemesis and Phoebe. And my Fix Plus probably is already dried down a little bit, so I can apply my highlighter. And I'm also applying a little bit to the center of the forehead. I'm not taking new product, I'm just using whatever is left on the brush. And then for my lip and my nose, I'm only going to use the shade Nemesis. For my nose, I'm using a pencil brush. And I'm going to finish everything up with Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in Dainty. Okay, so I think this lip combo is a little bit too bright, so I'm going to take it off and then apply a matte shade because I think it will look better. Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Sepia. 
And then the last thing to do is to apply a setting spray. So Fix Plus is not a setting spray, it's a fixing spray. So make sure your face doesn't look so powdery. And this makes sure that your makeup will stay on all day or all night. So I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter. And then this is the finished look. You can definitely go for the gloss I just did, but it was a little bit too bright for what I wanted to go for. So this is how I contour and highlight my face. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.